all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you please invite your friends and if you are a muslim get ready for a new day with the new allah uh, every day we try to present islam to the muslims and because based in my experience muslims are the last one to know what islam is about so here we do our best to teach them and to show them what islam really is about and you will notice something every day we witness that Muslim they say to us we never heard this before we never heard this before the reason Muslims they say we never heard this before because simply there's one of two reasons either they hide from them the truth and they don't want them to see what is there or they are playing games and they are saying we never heard this before to avoid the madness and the stupidity we can find in their books so we never heard this before how many times we need to hear this we never heard this before today a Muslim Abdul he sent uh, he post a, a comment in uh, in YouTube saying that the Prophet said <clears throat> or the Quran said that the Christians will and the Jews will not be satisfied with thee unless you accept their religion and here I find another proof that Muhammad was a foolish man. And when he made that statement, he just got himself busted. Because the fact, Muhammad, he followed the religion of the Jews and the Christians. It was not the opposite. <clears throat> Before we go there, let us see what the verse is saying. This is the verse in verse number one. Oh, let us see. Chapter number two, verse number 120. Sorry. It says, Never the Jews will be satisfied with thee, neither the Christians till you follow their religion. And here we find something very funny proving Islam to be a false religion. Because if the Jews are considered to be Islam and the Christians considered to be Muslims too. So what do you mean by following the religion if both of them they are Muslims? Remember Muhammad, not long time ago, he said that the Christians and the Jews, they will go to heaven. So if we don't have same religion, then how we will go to heaven? Any Muslim can explain to us? For sure not. Here we will see Muhammad making poo, poo again. Chapter 2, verse number 62, it says that those who they are Christians and those who they are Jews and those who they are Sabian, they are going to go to heaven guaranteed. If we ask the Muslims, who is going to go to heaven? They will say to you, Islam only. Islam is the only religion accepted by Allah. Actually, the Quran says, Clearly that the only religion he accept is Islam In the Dina in the Allah Islam chapter 3 verse number 19 This is the only religion accept by Allah in order to go to heaven So when you say to me that the Christians and the Jews and even the Sabian who worship the stars they are going to go to heaven that's mean all of them they are muslims so how silly it is to say the christians and the jews will not be satisfied with thee unless you follow their religion if supposedly they have the same religion as yours <clears throat> are we following people please invite your friends we just started <clears throat> inform your friends soon I will open my Skype if there's any Muslim wanna call us and you will see how Muslims they have no idea what they are talking about and this is a stupid religion it is a stupid religion in every way in every mean same time Muhammad when he said to the Christians and the Jews you will go to heaven this is he said this is something he said in his time not for the Jews before so when he promised them to go to heaven, they were following the true belief 
or they were following the wrong belief surely that they believe and those who they are the jewels the jews i mean look at this uh, stupid translation the jury or the jury it has changed the translator here this guy looked like he's taking too much hashish okay make it more simple <coughs> Lu, I like it when when the Muslim they translate the Quran and say Lu. They try to make it look like French. Lu, those who believe in which revealed to do Muhammad. And you know what the funny here? I mean, what is revealed to Muhammad? Muhammad he never revealed anything to him. Can a Muslim can tell me what is revealed to Muhammad? You see the funny. If you go in the Quran, you will see that the Quran claimed that Muhammad received inspiration. Show me one place where Muhammad received inspiration. You Muslims agree that Muhammad received delivery. A guy, he came to him and he did not even say what his name and he squeezed him three times and he says to him, read. That is not inspiration. What is the inspiration? Where is the inspiration in the inspiration? I mean, every statement in this Quran is a shish kebab. It's like a guy who is dizzy and he keeps his, he keep talking and say nothing. And right away, you will see the sign of paganism in the Quran. By the star when it is Sith. By the way, it doesn't say Sith. It says it was a hawa. It's fail. I mean, what kind of God is swearing by the star when it's fail? And since when the star are failing? Is that metaphorical? No. The fool Muhammad, he believed that when he see the meteor in the sky, he think that those are foreign stars. And here we go. He have his pagan God swearing by the foreign stars. You see, a human being, he swear by God because God is greater than me. God swear by the star because star is greater than him. Why your God he swear by the star unless he is worshipping the stars? Your companion did not go astray or deceived. Talking about who? About Muhammad. Why people they are saying why? Why the Quran is saying that? Because the people they keep saying to him, This guy, you are possessed, you are mental, you have mental issues. And we can prove easy from Islamic books and reference that Muhammad he have suffering from mental issues. I'm going to open my Skype, <clears throat> hoping that some Muslims will call us, and only Muslims, please, can call. No Christians for now. Later, if we say Christians, you can call, feel free to call us. My Skype is open. If you are a Muslim, Abdul, and you can share something about this topic, please let me know. Now, in the statement where Muhammad, he said, claiming that his God told him that the Christians and the Jews will not be satisfied with thee unless you follow their religion, that is again a proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Why this verse proving Muhammad to be a false prophet? Anyone knows? Here Muhammad prophesying that the Christians and the Jews around him, they will never convert to Islam. And they will never be satisfied until he convert to their religion. But isn't it the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad he conquered all of Arabia and everybody he been forced to convert to Islam? So what happened is exactly the opposite of what he claimed. He claimed the satisfaction will happen only if he converted to the religion. But the satisfaction happened really after they converted to his religion. Because he was the winner here and he is the one who forced them to convert to Islam, convert or die. 
so Muhammad here when he said this verse he is not sure that he is going to be victorious so he was trying to make an excuse why they are not satisfied with him as a prophet because simply they will never be satisfied unless I convert to the religion but later they converted to his religion same time you will notice here how Muhammad he did fool of himself or make fool of himself because Muhammad he took Shahada and converted to Judaism Anyone remember when Muhammad he took Shahada and he became a Jew? Who remember? Didn't Muhammad convert to Judaism and he took Shahada? Let us show you. Muhammad is a big fat hypocrite man. He took the Shahada. And he became a Jew. So how you say to them, they will not be satisfied with you unless they follow your religion but you are the one who follow the religion here we go this is muhammad putting his hand over over the, the, the torah and saying treating the torah with a lot of respect and saying i believe in thee and the one who sent thee saying shahada he placed the torah on it in the cushion and he said i believe i believe in thee and him who revealed thee here Muhammad is not taking shahada to Allah. Here uh, Muhammad is taking shahada to, shahada to Jehovah. Because the Jews don't believe that Allah revealed the Torah. They believe that Jehovah is the one who revealed the Torah. So Muhammad here, he took shahada saying clearly that he believed in Judaism and he believed in the God of the Jews and he taken a shahada converting to be a Jew. Any Muslim have an answer for this? Is it true that your prophet he converted to Judaism? Yes, it is in front of you. If I put the Quran right now in front of me and I say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, it's mean I converted to Islam. Right? Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Any Muslim want to call? Another an authentic hadith. No, my friend, this is authentic. Here we go. This is Al-Abani and this is Sunan Abi Dawood. Sunan Abi Dawood is from the book of authentic. There's six authentic books, and one of them is Sunan Abi Dawood. So don't play the play different game. Anything the Muslim don't like, they say it's not authentic. Well, your your God is not authentic, your prophet is not authentic, everything in your religion is not authentic. And how you can follow a religion, you are saying to me, it's full of a crap. The second you say to me, oh, another hadith is not authentic. If Islam is based on the hadith and based on the Quran, and you keep saying to me not authentic, that's mean Islam itself is not authentic. Because how we will know now what is authentic, what is not, if you, you Muslims yourself, you believe that there's, not, there's tons of stories about your prophet is not authentic. How we can follow such a cult and not only that the muslim they start lately saying that the quran itself is not authentic because when you show them how stupid the quran is what they say oh this is obviously this is cannot be allah somebody he put that verse there do we have any muslim would like to call as you see muhammad here is taking an oath Proving to us that he is a false prophet because if this book is not the book of God, this book, if this book is corrupt, how in the world you take an oath in a false book? Unless you are a fake man and you are a false man and you are a scam. Any Muslim? Hello? And not only that, Muhammad, he cannot stop making poo, poo It is his own, his, his favorite pop, hobby, like he cannot. There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Al-Kafirun. It is at the end of the Quran. 
the chapter of Al-Kafirun is one of the most funny stupid chapters ever Muhammad he came with in his own fabrication read with me and laugh say oh and believer actually by the way translation here is really funny I mean what serve what serve my idiot who did, I mean those translators they get they got their words from where I mean I'm serious where they got their translation from serve all right here we go we change the translator the word serve became worship I mean do you notice how stupid those translator are how the word worship became serve is it the same no if I work in a restaurant as a waiter I am serving it doesn't mean I'm worshiping garbage in garbage out oh he you forget actually here doesn't say reject faith it says kafirun kafirun mean the one who hide the truth i worship not what you worship nor ye worship which i worship and i will not worship that you have been one to worship nor will ye worship which i worship i'm getting dizzy now to you your religion to me is mine well thank you very much now do you know why this is a proof muhammad to be a false prophet again do you know why because muhammad here is speaking to the people of Quraysh, saying to them i will never worship what you worship and you will never worship what i worship but later they converted to islam do you see how the false prophet he got himself busted you said you just said you just said i will worship not and you will not worship nor you will worship nor you will in the future but those people later they became muslims and again the muslim they will say to us that this is a weak quran now if we change the word worship with the word eat you will see how stupid more how this verse uh, turned to be really more stupid Oh, you kuffar! I will, I will put the word here. Eat. We we'll replace all the word worship with eat. Okay, eat. Just to show you how this amazing word of God this is God talking now or this is a donkey he's he's making stupid things so just to make it simple just to change the word worship and switch it with it oh who you reject my food I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I eat and I will never do eat what you eat for you will not do eat what I eat I eat not what you eat for you have your food I have mine so what we learn from this it's just a blah 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 oh what we know you are saying you will not believe in what we believe why you are repeating yourself like a stupid idiot I will not eat what you eat and you will not do eat what I eat and I will not eat what you eat because I will never eat what do you eat and I will never eat what you eat because you will not eat what I eat for you have your food I have mine thank you very much and later we find that they ate what he ate which mean here he made a false prophecy again so how this man can be a prophet of God this is a prophet of God hold on hold hold on aspiration of Jibreel came to me Muhammad say to them I will not eat what you eat 
and they will not eat what you eat therefore you will not do eat what they eat and they will not do eat what you eat because they do not like what you eat and you don't like what they eat and you don't like what they will eat and you will never do eat what they eat for you have your food and you have mine thank you very much that's deep wisdom i'm really impressed that's deep it took muhammad maybe it took allah supposedly the one who made this chapter maybe it took allah maybe a couple of centuries to think about this think about allah sitting in his uh, his office thinking about how he can make something unique something because this is god my friend god talking now this is not uh, uh, anyone this is god and when god he talk i mean everybody shut up so allah which is god he went to his office and he decided to think about something special and here we go allah now is thinking hmm hmm what i will say to them hmm as long as i am bones hmm and i'm hungry hmm by the way allah don't eat you know i i understand why he lost a lot of weight um what I will say, hmm. okay. Say to those kafirun kuffar, huh? The filthy kuffar say to them, I will not eat what you eat, even if even if I am a bone, and you will not eat what I eat, for I will not do eat what you eat, and they will never eat what I eat, for I eat not what you eat, for you have your food, I have mine. And bingo, here we go. We have amazing Quran. Who can make Quran like this? Nobody. I mean, think about it, think twice. Think thrice. Nobody can come with this. Only Allah. He is very special. Do we have any Muslim here when I call us? So as you see, Muhammad, he converted to Judaism. He took the Shahada, which obviously is a false Shahada. He said, I believe in the Torah and I believe in the one who sent thee, trying to convince the Jews that he is a Jew. And this is what the Muslims they do with you. They try to make you believe that they believe in Jesus. They believe in Moses. I believe in thee, speaking to the Torah, and him who revealed thee. But Muhammad, he never mentioned the God of the Torah in his book. Where we can, where we can find Jehovah in his book? Where we can find him? We cannot find Allah in the Torah and we cannot find Jehovah in the Quran. My friend, Muhammad is nothing but a scam. Now, do we have any Muslim who would like to give us a call? Who is a Muslim who would like to give us a call? A Muslim or a Mohammedan? Actually, they are Mohammedan, not Muslims. Any Mohammedan like to give us a call? By the way, I uh, I heard that if you debate me and you defend Islam, uh, the King of Saudi Arabia will give you a free ticket all the way to Mecca so you can kiss the black stone. And by the way, Muslims are not pagans. Yes, they kiss a black stone, but this is not paganism. Yes, the black stone is holy stone, but this is not paganism. You are the pagan. Isn't it obvious? Mwah, stone. Mwah. Stone. And not only that, Muhammad he claimed that this stone is a living stone. And this is stone, if you touch it, it forgive your sin. Stone forgive sin? And when? If you Muslims are not pagans, how the stone, by touching them, it forgive your sin? Can you tell me? How touching stones forgive your sin? 
what kind of religion exactly you have Muslims and what kind of stones those stones are hmm After I make 1,000 trillion video against Allah, all what I need to do, I go to Mecca, touch the stones, and all the sin I did against Allah is gone. Hmm? Any Abdul? <clears throat> Who is a brave Abdul when I give us a call, my friend? Who is a Muslim? Is a proud to be a Muslim? Would like to call us? Anyone? Nobody? Not a single Muslim. He have any... Uh, any comment? Hmm? You don't have a problem, Muslims? You agree? Uh, I'm really, I, I like that. You agree? Somebody is saying, can you tell us what Yahweh mean? Yahweh mean, I am the one who is, exists by myself. I am who I am. There's no name. The Bible really doesn't speak about names. There's no names there. Actually, all the names you see in the Bible are not names. But for the Muslims, because they are stealing names from our book, they do not know what those are. As an example, if you ask a Muslim, Abdul, what Israel mean? They do not know. Who is Israel? He do not know the whole Quran. You search the whole Quran. Who is Israel? They do not know. Why? Because this is a name they stole from another book and they have nothing to do with it. Any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim feel like he have something to say? Anyone? Uh, with the opposite of the prophet, we will do that in Tuesday at 3 p.m. New York time or Eastern time. Any Muslim here? Who is a Muslim here is a proud about his religion? I challenge you to call me and show me one good thing about your cult. Additional to the endless penis and the big vagina and, uh, uh, you know, like your wife poo, poo will be so huge. I mean, if your wife ass is one mile, Imagine her fart, how big is going to be. What if your wife in the heaven, she farted and somebody smoking a cigarette behind her? Do you know that fart is a flammable? She will burn the whole town. She burned the whole town. Yes, Ras, how are you? Hello? Mute you too, mute you too. Yes, the, you just made the claim that we still uh, we took scriptures which are not out. Sure, you do not. Okay, tell me then what Israel mean. Israel. Yeah. Uh, the name, the meaning. Of yeah. The word. No, oh, no. Don't tell me first the meaning. Tell me first who is he. 
if I say to you right now there's a guy in the Quran the Quran keeps saying more than 40 times keep saying Israel 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 if I ask you who is Israel who is Israel Israel means to fight with God to, to the fight with God yes Israel mean the fight with God right right yeah are you listening too much to Muhammad hijab uh, no <laughs> <laughs> it means to struggle fight with God. Ah, okay. That's that's different. That's that, that's better now. Struggle with God. Ah, okay. Yeah. So how this how this name came to exist? Who is Israel? He was the um something to do with Jacob. I can't remember it. Mm. How do you know it's about Jacob? Where do you learn that? From the Christians, from the Jews? It's I think it's written in the Jewish. Mm. Jewish so uh, how you Muslims you say the Quran is the book of Allah but the book and the, this is the only book you can follow yet you cannot find in the book of Allah who is this guy his name is Israel because we believe that Jews and Christians are people of the book doesn't doesn't that the question you have a book you have to follow your book is missing something very important if I say to you oh sons of Obama and shouldn't I tell you first who is Obama Yeah, I've, it it does mention there. It is written. It is mentioned in the Quran. Where where it mentioned in the Quran? Who is who is Israel? Show me. Be my hero. The children of Israel are definitely. I know the children of Israel, but who is Israel? This is the question. Uh, the, it's somewhere in the Quran, I think. Where where? Uh. Do not search for it. Ah, okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, forget about Israel. Isa, who is Isa? Isa, he's a prophet. Who is Isa? Who is he? Where he was located, where he lived, uh, Israel, where he located, where he lived, uh, Moses, where he located, where he lived, uh, Abraham, where he located, where he lived. Who are those people? And what the language they speak? We, it, your scriptures have been passed on to us. What do you mean, Pastor? You, 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 you know, you believe, Muslim, you deny our script. Uh, 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 okay, hold on. So, are you saying to me you stole the names and you base your knowledge on what we have? What, what do you mean, stealing? What do you mean? I am asking you if we know who is this guy, his name is Isa, where we will know who is he, where he was located, which city he lived in. Where he used, where he used to live, where, where we can find that. Here we go. Go sh show me from the Quran. Okay. Who is Isa? Uh, what in the world the word Isa mean? We do I not don't know. know. Okay. Know. So you do not know what Isa mean. You do not know where Isa lived. You do not know Isa. He spoke it's to just who? The name. What do you mean? So you know. So what the point of speaking about a guy? You don't, you tell me nothing about him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but there's some other people. I don't know personally. I don't know, but there, there is other people would know. If you're no, nobody knows. Him. No, not a single one of you knows. I challenge you. I challenge you to bring me a shake. He knows. Your God do not know. Your prophet do not know. Your scholars do not know. Your Zakir Naik do not know. All the gods of Islam do not know. So, what kind of a book, you Muslim? You claim that this is a perfect book. The Quran is like a uh, like a uh, you know somebody he have like 20 books in the table and they are in papers and then somebody opened the window from two sides and the wind came and take them out and mix all the papers together and now we make them book one book well, and Isa then we don't understand what this guy is talking about what well, the Isa is just the name for Jesus who is Isa you need to tell me where this name is coming from nobody heard of him historian never heard of Isa Arabic, Arabic Christian, Ar Ar no Arabic Christian. Never we are we are the Arab. We are the Christians. We never call him Isa. We never heard of Isa. Who is this guy, Isa? Well, that's you, Arab Christians. That doesn't mean we are the Arab. Here we go. Your prophet isn't he an Arab? He's talking to who? He's an Arab talking to the Arab. So he should learn from us the name. Where he come with the name Isa from? In Arabic, we call him Yeshua. In Hebrew, they call him Yeshua. It's a Quranic original translation. What original translation? This is a translation. This it's is a Quranic. name. This is a name. Where is Isa coming from? You do not know. Yes. What is your point? And it's just my point means... is when you are a thief, you do not know what the names mean. You do not know where the name is coming from, for you are just a thief. 
if I steal something from somebody and you ask me where you get this from I have no answer because I am just a person who stole it I did not make it I am not the one who bring it I have no connection with it it is just a theft okay what, what does Jesus mean okay hold on hold on if I ask you what Jibreel mean the guy who broke your property uh, Jibreel what would Jibreel mean you mean he's the uh... He's the he was an angel. He was the first. Well, thank you very much. He's an angel, guys. He's an angel. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but who is Jibreel? I don't look up the name. So here we go. Is it weird that your God Allah he speak Arabic and he he favored the Arabic and Arabic is his favorite language? Even Adam he said Alhamdulillah the first word he spoke, and then we find that Jibreel it's is not the, an Arabic word. It's, is it's just, is Jibreel an Arabic Jibreel word? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Adam is Adam an Arabic word? No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me is finish. Adam an Arabic, Arabic word? Is an is Adam an Arabic word? Adam, no. No. Okay. Hold on. Why not? What do you mean? Why? Because first, uh, it's it's Hebrew. It must be. So so, so okay. So hold on, guys. Adam is a Hebrew. I will go with you. Adam is a Hebrew. So why Adam is a Hebrew? Because the the scriptures was first given to Hebrews. What's the, uh, so Adam was a Hebrew from the beginning. He was born Hebrew. There was no Hebrew yet. No the scripture. Oh my God. The scripture in which. Don't say Adam my oh my God. So oh my Allah, show respect, please. Now, when you say to me Adam was a Hebrew, Adam his name is I'm a Hebrew. He Hebrew. So why Adam, Adam? So why Adam when he sneezed, he said Alhamdulillah in Arabic. So his name is Hebrew, but he speak Arabic. No, he said the equivalent of Alhamdulillah. No, he did not say the equivalent. Don't lie. He said Alhamdulillah. Do you want to show you the reference? Yeah, he said Alhamdulillah. So what? Yeah, but Alhamdulillah is in Arabic. So how this guy? He's a he, his name in Hebrew, but he speak Arabic. The, the Islam is a stupid religion. Mm. Jibril. Uh, is Jibreel is exist before the Arab people exist? Jibreel is just Arabic for Gabriel. I don't know what your problem is. No, there's no, this is nothing. There's nothing that's called Arabic, my friend. This is not Arabic. Jibreel is not an Arabic. It is two words. Jibreel. Uh, you see, it's the translation of Gabriel. What, what is Gabriel? Okay, guys, translate of Gabriel. <laughs> Abdul, if you if it's the same name, how you how this is can be a translation? Jibreel, what Jibreel mean? Okay, then Jesus means nothing then, because Jesus was not his original name. In Mar the, no, Jesus. This is this is the, this is from the Latin, this, this is from the Latin. Yes. So, but it's still it's the same exactly. because they don't have listen. They don't have equal letters to make it the same language. As an example, if I say in Arabic, I say Yesu, an, an, okay, English, an, an, an English man, an English man cannot say that. If somebody he don't speak, he don't have the same letters like you. If I say to you, say the name of your prophet, what you will say? Muhammad. There's, but there's no Muhammad in the Quran. Where is me Where is Muhammad? There's Muhammad, not Muhammad. Yes. So, so you have you have to switch. You have you switch some letters to you the language you know to make it be able for you to pronounce it. So but they didn't. They didn't. Pre they completely changed the name. No, because simply there is a reason. You can go and, and and search for it. For they cannot really have it written in the way it is written in the, in the Hebrew. So they have to come with an equal name. Same time, you Muslims, you copy names, and all the names approve one thing for us that those don't belong to the God of Islam. As an example, so okay, hold, so on, hold, on, your, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold on, Israel, is it true that the last letters, two two letters in Israel, are Eel, which mean God? Eel, yeah, Eel, yeah. Okay, why in the whole religion of Islam we don't find Eel? Ilaha, what ilaha? Don't be stupid now. Il is not ilaha. Il. No, so this guy, this guy, Isra, Isra, he belonged to God who is il. Why in your language we cannot find il? Where is il? Those who don't belong to Allah, if this is if, if Israel, if he is a person belong to Allah, his name should be Isra Allah. If Jibreel belong to Allah, he should not belong to il, he should belong to. Uh, Jibra Allah if uh, if uh, if Ishmael belonged to Allah his name should not be Ishmael his, his name should be Ishma Allah 
So where but, does Gabriel come from? Then? Because this is a, it's what we are saying. It's a theft. Your prophet is a thief. He stole the name. He do not know what You're they mean. Saying Gabriel, Gabriel, what does it come from? It is Hebrew. <laughs> I know it's Hebrew, but if it, is, saying... it is two words. It's two words. It is all those names are not names. Those are a sentence. But your prophet, because he's a fool, he is a thief. He do not know what they mean. So he stole the names. Which is a sentence, it's a statement, same as Abraham. Okay, how, Abraham do you know how, how do you know the uh, Quran? Uh, just translate it differently, then what translate? What translate? What, just we are you, talking about the Arabic, why, we are talking about the Arabic. Give it a completely different we are language. not talking about translation, we are talking about the Arabic, Abdul. We are not talking about translation. I know, hold on, hold on. Allah have 99 names, right? Attributes, yes. Okay, what is the eel between them? We don't say Eid, we say Allah. So no, 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 Allah. no, 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 no. Allah is a name. Allah is a name. Allah, it's a name. Where we can find Eid? Here we go. Israel, as you see, this is a word very important, appear by the names of every important figure in the Bible. So even Jesus, they called him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. So Israel, Ishmael, uh, uh, Mikael, Jibril. Uh, uh, why Il is not one of the 99 names because Muhammad he never thought about this he never he don't know he thought those are one word name but those are not names those are a statement it's a statement it is not a name if I ask you now what Abraham mean do you know Abraham uh, no I don't okay why Muhammad did not do not know he's a prophet of God What would you mean Muhammad didn't know? He did not know. He did not know even why the name coming like even sometimes he write the word Abraham as Ibrahim. Sometimes he write it as Abraham because he's confused. He did not why know did what is the correct it, why name. Why did he write it different? Show me. Okay, if I show you, you leave Islam. Uh, may, may, go on, just show me. I just want well, to in the Quran in front of us, they don't write it this way. Actually, all of them they write it, write it Ibrahim. But in the in the Arabic text, sometimes they write it as Abraham. Oh, so now you're telling me it's it's written the same in the in no no it's not written the same. But this is in the in the in your Islamic website they write it the same, but it's not. Oh, now you're claiming that they're lying on their own website. Oh yes, they are lying for sure because they, they don't yeah, write it no, as Ibrahim. No, they don't write it as Abraham. Okay. Oh, if I show you from your Quran, what you would do? You will leave Islam. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Just I so once know, he say Abraham, think. once he say he, once he say Abraham without Aleph, and once he say Ibrahim, how he cannot even come with the correct name? Okay, use this Quran version to show me. Because it doesn't show here. If I search for Abraham, it doesn't show nowhere. See, so you, so you, how can you say that it, it says different? I am showing. I'm saying it. to you. If I find you Abraham, are you willing to leave Islam? First, you show me. Then I'll make. Uh, I don't. No, I don't think so. No. Why? I don't. Why I don't you will know. not? Because if you. So why you are challenging me to show you if the point? If there's no point. I just want to see if it's true or not. It's That's true. It. I never say anything. I don't say anything unless it's true. It's recorded. It's in the internet. People will make fun of me, and you know that. Okay. So why your God? He do not know. And the one is talking there is your prophet, not supposed to your God, not your prophet. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? The one is saying that is your yeah. prophet or your God? It is your God, supposedly. This is Quran, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So why once it come as Ibrahim and one it's come as Abraham? Oh, I want to see that the, if it actually says Ibrahim and Abraham differently. I want to see that. So. Yeah, I, I know you want to see that, but nothing for free. You have to give me. <laughs> you have to give me a motivation so we can get you busted. Do you promise me? Do you promise me? This is BS, absolutely. All your religion is BS. Where Here we go. It? Okay, hold on, hold on. So who is a Muslim? Hold on here. Who is a Muslim is willing to give me a call and he swear by Allah. If I show him the Quran saying once Abraham, one Abraham, one Ibrahim, he will leave Islam. Who want to do that? <laughs> you make <laughs> cowards. Okay, hold on. Listen, if I show you, if I show you that you in your book, once it says Abraham and one it says Ibrahim. Are you willing to open the camera and do the monkey dance for us? 
We are being ridiculous now. Why I am not true? being ridiculous because you challenge me and I am here to challenge. I am here to show everybody that every Muslim Abdul is a stupid. You. I didn't say. No, I mean, you see, no, you are I'm challenging not. me. You said no. You said, you, so why you, oh, now you can't show it to me. And here, actually, I want to prove something, corruption in the Quran. Because why in your Islamic website you took the Abraham and you make it Ibrahim? Because Ibrahim is the Arabic. What Ibrahim is Arabic? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm not a speaker. I'm just a <laughs> Yes, Ibrahim is the Arabic. What are you talking about? There's nothing it's called Arabic. Since when Ibrahim oh is, is, is Ibrahim an Arab man to be an Arabic, you idiot? It's like it's saying to me, about. it's like saying to me, George is an Arabic. No, George is not a, because the name is. is so what? So English. what make Abraham, Ibrahim make it an Arabic? To make the P. Uh, to make it easier for Arabs, I don't know. Ah, it can, it's kind of a, it's kind of a like, useless question asking me why did they translate it to Arabic? What do you, what do you mean why? I'm not saying why. I'm saying to you, what kind of cult this cult do not know what they are talking about? Because either his name oh, is because Abraham. Because we are talking, we translate. are talking about the same book. You cannot have the name written in the same book, one as Abraham and one as Abra Abraham. Because okay, show me. because that will make it to a different person. Show me where. Show me. Silence me, right? Yes, show me. Yeah. What you will do if I show you? It's just this is. I'm just asking you to show me. That doesn't mean anything. I don't know. Hmm. Doesn't mean anything, right? So why you want to show you? Why I want to go and uh, find you and show you? If you will not do anything in return for me. Are you are you evading this? Since when did you ask people for ransom for that question? Yeah, because we know uh, uh, knowledge cost you. Is it oh, yeah. Abraham or Ibrahim? Who is a Muslim want to call us? It's Ibrahim. I say it is Abraham. It's Ibrahim. In Arabic, it's Ibrahim. Okay. So if we show you in the Quran that it's appear as Ibrahim, Ibrahim and as Abraham, if we show you it's Ibrahim and Abraham in the Quran, what are you willing to do? I am not willing to leave this. Why would I do uh, Okay, get lost. Who is a Muslim willing to call me and let us see if it's Ibrahim or Abraham or Abraham? Anyone? You Muslims do not know what your religion is about. False cult and nobody knows. Copy paste. Anyone? Any two? A name is mentioned all over the Quran. Not a single Muslim knows what the name mean and why the name is not coming correctly. And not only that, your false prophet, even he think that Ibrahim or Abraham, he have a father, his name is Azar. Who is Azar? So he cannot quote the name, the first name correctly. He cannot quote the second name correctly. And he thinks now that the word foolish means this is the name of the father of Abraham. What the verse here supposedly, Ibrahim or Abraham saying to his father, this is foolish. You worship idols. The stupid Muhammad and his followers, they believe that this is the name of the father of Abraham. His name is Foolish. Nice to meet you, Mr. Foolish. Mr. Fool. Fool, are you going to worship idols? But because this is something Muhammad, he stole and he is a thief, so he is not aware what this Azar mean. He saw it in the text he is stealing. It says Azar. It's not translated to Arabic, so he took it as it is. He put it in his Quran, and now every Abdul in the world he think Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. But if you go in the Old Testament, you will find that Abraham does not have a name. His name, the father, his name Azar. Where is this Azar coming from? The same as you go and you see in the Quran, it says Hanif. 
the Muslim they say that Abraham was Hanif, but Hanif means kafir. How you say Hanif? How you say he's a Hanif? Hanif means pagan. It says here that Ibrahim was a Hanif and Muslim, and he is a pagan Muslim. I mean, who is a stupid here? How he is a Muslim, but he is a pagan Muslim. And look at the funny translation, by the way. It doesn't say uh, uh, and bowed his will to Allah in which Islam. It doesn't say that. I mean, the translation of Muslims is very silly. It's like somebody have a diarrhea and, you know, he was suffering from kind of bacteria in his belly and suddenly everything come out in like all over the place. What? Uh, let me change the translation. Maybe we can get something a little bit smarter. I mean, literally, they make me sick. He was upright man. Hanif became upright man. Hanif became upright man. Unbelievable. And look how stupid even, even this statement. How in the world you say Ibrahim was not a Jew, neither a Christian, when he is the father of the Jews, you idiot. I mean, you have to be a certified donkey to say that he was not a Jew, neither a Christian. I cannot find any intellect in this in, in this cult. They are suffering from lack of intellect. Why you are saying to them Ibrahim or Abraham was not a Jew? What does that mean? Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? How he can be a Jew? Unless Muhammad you do not know even what to be a Jew means. Do you understand guys? The stupid Muhammad, he think that the word Jew mean religion. And the word the Christian mean religion. Right? But the word Jew is not about the religion, really. Today, people, they say he is a Jew to speak about his belief, right? But the fact Judaism, Jew, to be a Jew is not about being, being, uh, being a... Uh, in, in a certain it's about an ethnic group it's about the tribes it's not about how you say that how you say Abraham he was not a Jew hey somebody saying to me you need to be more loving his name is Sam uh, my Sam uh, my, my friend I want you I will leave the hugs for you and the love for you, I don't have too much of it, my friend. You are the guy who provide a lot of hugs. If any one of the Muslims would like to need had he need some hugs, we have a brother Sam in the chat. He will give you hugs, and he will give you love. Are you happy, Mr. Sam, in the chat? Yeah, you. Oh. Because you are being silly. What how, what loving and what does that mean? Are we here to give hugs? Was Jesus loving when he flipped the table on the people and he said to them, you made the house of my father a place of buying and selling? He was giving them hugs, right? You are being silly, my friend. Who is a Muslim want to give us an answer? How stupid this statement is, even to say that Ibrahim, he was a Hanif, he was a pagan Muslim. He was a Kafir.
how the one who exists before the Jews he will be a Jew what does that mean how stupid that statement is Muhammad, his pupu, does not stop here. He go farther beyond. So he say, let me show you this verse here. This is a verse Prove it to me that Muhammad is a certified idiot. Read carefully. Actually, not this one. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me show you the other one. No, that's not this one. Hmm. <clears throat> oh boy. You know, when Muhammad he speak, and the Muslim they don't want to think. Nobody, it looks like nobody is using his brain, and nobody is trying even to use his brain. Let us see which one we will show you, because all the statement about about Ibrahim is a stupid. Let us see which one we will show you. Read this one. And I follow the religion of my fathers, Ibrahim and Isaac and, and Jacob. Who is the one is talking? And how here he say that I follow the religion of my fathers, Ibrahim and Isaac and Jacob. And yet Muhammad, he says that the Jews are not Muslims. Because isn't it you who said to me the Jews and the Christians will not accept you satisfied with you unless you follow their religion? Which means obviously your religion and their religion is different. So how you Muslim you say that you follow Abraham? Another pupu. In chapter 12, verse number 6, Allah, he chose him to know, uh, this is about Joseph, supposedly, Yusuf. Allah, he chose him and he taught him how to explain and give interpretation for the hadith. Allah gave him that knowledge. Question. When we read about prophets who they are stolen from other books, we find that every one of them, he have something special about them. So we have Joseph, he have a specialty, he can give interpretation for dreams. As an example, we have Musa who can, God, he provide him with amazing uh, specialty in Islam that he spoke to him directly. So this is why the Muslim they call him Kalimullah. He spoke to Allah directly. Isa, he can create from the mother bird and he can tell you what you hide in your houses. And he can heal the leper and the blind and he can resurrect the dead from the grave. 
We arrive to Muhammad, we find that the only specialty he have that he can have sex with all his women in 15 minutes. Any Muslim have explanation for this madness? This is what is special about your prophet, his penis? Every prophet, he have a gift. And Muhammad gift is his penis. And not only that, we go check out, we investigate, we find that the penis of Muhammad never function. Actually, there's a hadith he says, Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person between all mankind in Bang Bang. And I invoked my God, Allah, and he sent me a dish of, it's called al Kufayt, And after I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. So even this one was a fake infection. Guys, don't waste your time with this guy, Sam. He don't like what we say here. He can leave. This is how we talk, and you are a good Christian, and we are not, according to you. No problem. Just leave. Jesus said to the to the to the, to the Jews who worship the same God, he said to them, the sons of vipers. So you are a fake person who claim to know the Bible, my friend. I did not even call the Muslims the son of vipers. You have no idea. What Jesus taught. You think Christianity is about giving hugs, or you are a fake man? Give them hugs, CB. Give them hugs. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah, there is a terrorist. He just attacked a bunch of people in the street. I want to give him a hug. Just leave, my friend. Leave. You are in the wrong. You are, you are in the wrong place. Don't come here again. You are a good Christian. This is how some fake people, they come to you and they say to you, oh, you are not speaking like a Christian. They forgot who is Jesus. Jesus, he paid his life because he was aggressive, not because he was kind. He was aggressive saying the truth. If he was perfectly correct, giving hugs to everybody, he will not be killed. All the apostles of Jesus, they were crucified and killed and tortured for they say the truth and they were not politically correct and they were not given hugs. So some Christian, they try to present to you Christianity in a very false way. Christianity is about giving hugs, my friend. This is what they say to you. Christianity is about being kind. Kind with who? We can be kind with the poor. We can be kind with the needy. We can be kind with the sick. We can be kind with a stranger. Yes. Jesus said, I was a stranger and you took me in. I was you know, a, a, a prisoner and you visited me. But when it's come to say the truth, you say it as it is. You have to be more loving. Brother. And the funny, they school you about how to be more loving, but they never brought a Muslim out of Islam. If we check their career as a Christians, how many people you brought to Christ in your lifetime? Zero. But yet you want to scold someone who his life mission is to bring Muslims out of Islam and you are the one going to school him. Fake as garbage. They speak good, but they do bad. Go check in the last month how many Muslims left Islam life in, the, in, in, in this program. Just last month. Who are you? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Yeah, we have no time to waste with those people. You don't like what we do here? Just take a hike.
Do you remember the idiot James White? He says that the Middle Eastern, they have hot blood. Do you remember? He was making fun of the Middle Eastern. He forgot that all the disciples of Jesus, they are Middle Eastern, this donkey. Yet he claimed to be a Christian and he claimed to be a minister and he claimed to be a priest who speak in a church. Yet he's making fun of Middle Eastern, that we have hot blood. We are aggressive. He forgot that he himself, if he is really truly really Christian, he is a person who follow Middle Eastern. Do I celebrate the baptism day? I don't celebrate anything actually, you know, for me, my life is different as you see. My celebration is bringing people out of their cults. If that is not good for you, this is a different story. You go and celebrate the baptism. I celebrate it by giving baptism. Do we have any Muslim here? Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? You know, uh, when the last time you went to church and you heard the priest saying to you or quoting for you, Jesus saying, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. Anyone remember that verse? I never I never heard of a priest saying and quoting this verse for us. Why? Why only the quote for us that Jesus, he said, if somebody hit you in your right cheek, give him the other one. This is the only one you know that said that the, 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 Jesus says, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. This is the one you don't like to have. What's wrong with it? Are you, are, you, are you trying to hide it? Are you playing taqiyya like the Muslims? Are you taqiyya people who lie? The Messiah was a person of balance. The sword will not make you a criminal. It is what you do with it. The Messiah did not say and go and let the people slaughter you. That is a false interpretation of Christianity. The Messiah did not say, if you see a woman being raped, you watch and you pray to him. Hey, God, help this woman. She is being raped now. I am a peaceful man. I can do nothing. If you don't do something, you are a criminal. And the Bible is full of stories about that. A true Christian is the one who defend the weak. Not watch the weak being slaughtered. It doesn't matter who is the weak, even if he's a Muslim. Do we have any Abdul? Any Muslim would like to call us. Somebody saying why some Muslim, they say that the Muhammad is, uh, the coming of Muhammad is in the Bible. My friend, if you are a bankrupt, you cannot find your prophet in your own book, what you can, what you can, you can, you start looking for him in different book. Why a Muslim cannot prove to us that Muhammad is in his book, exists to be a prophet. Muhammad, he prophesied how the baby is made. And we look at it and we find that this is the most funny statement ever. So he failed in the prophecy. He is a joker. He is a liar. Muhammad, he prophesied that the J is coming and the moon is split. And there's no moon split and there's no judgment day to come. Muhammad, he cannot even, he speak that his God told him the Quran. As you see in the front of us here, many people do not know that the Quran, according to Muslims, is word by word from God, even a letter is coming from Allah as it is. So the Muslim cannot say 
that there is an error for this is only God speaking so if we find errors in the Quran that means the one who did the errors is God the Quran is not the book of books written by many writers rabbis and prophets the Quran according to Muslims is the book of God mentioned letter by letter by God and preserved in the chest of the believers and then we find that the book is written by God or brought to us by God is the most stupid book ever and here we go my change to the Muslims who want to call me and show me something smart in the Quran Anyone? Who want to show me something smart in his book? We made a video just a few days ago about what is called the scientific miracle in the Quran, and we find that all of it is a scam. We made a video just a few. Yes, Rice. What do you want? Yeah, yeah can you hear me? No, yeah, no, I cannot hear you. Speak louder. Can you hear me now? Speak louder. No, I think you can hear me anyway. Uh, no, I need to squeeze you first. Hold on. Can you tell me, Sras, why your angel he squeezed Muhammad three times when he met him first time? No, that's not what I'm here about. Oh wow, what what are you here about? <clears throat> because you asked me why uh, Abraham's uh, father is named Azza. Hey, why? As I looked this up and it says that uh, Abraham's father was Azza and which which derived derived from the Syriac Azar. Ah, but the Syriac Azar mean foolish. So have you ever heard of somebody his last name is Azar or his name is Azar as a foolish? And this is in the ancient Syriac, by the way, it's not a Syriac really, it's an Aramaic. Well, that's what the website says. I don't think website. Yeah. Lying. Okay. Hold on. So, why, why in the Bible we cannot find this as our name? Why the Jews will change it? Why you can't find Azar in the Bible? No, we cannot find it. Show it to me. Where? No, I, uh, I didn't say there is, but it's. I think it's a just. It's a tra translation. We, we. It's a different name. For the same person. What do you know? Different name? No, it's not the different name. It's not a different name. Same time. Why is different name? Oh, so it's the same. Why, why is same. different name? Why is different name? Why? Azar. What? 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 How Azar? Okay. Do you know what the name of the Abraham father? Era. Okay. Do you see anything close to it? I mean, it is like a, even they share letters. Nothing. It, this so, translation can be sometimes it's close to so the how, original. No, how Terra? How Terra became Azar? I mean, isn't it obvious this is a totally different word? Yeah, I just gave you the answer. I told well, you. But I, you I gave you give me the answer. This is a stupid. They're trying to, to to fabricate answers because this is okay. Did your prophet say who is the one who said that? Is your prophet who said that? No, he didn't say that. Okay. The Muslims the after we made after we made fun of them, the Muslims they tried to find a solution for this problem. So they come with all the funny stuff. This is not the Muslim. Uh... There's no Muslim pro, uh, website, but okay. This is not. Uh -huh, okay, so a, must, uh, a, web, a website, not a Muslim website, explain why the Quran, Azar, became this. So how they knew that Azar is this? How how it come to their mind that the word Azar even exists? Uh, historian sources, I don't know. Ah, historian sources. Okay, okay. Now listen, as long as you call me and you are talking about Abraham and Azar again, let me ask you a very simple question. What was the religion of Abraham? The religion of Abraham? Yeah. Okay, according to the uh, us Muslim Quran, mm. he we can't really call him Muslim. We call him Hanif. Mm. Hanif, which is basically like uh, 
Yeah. I'm not sure where we are. It's like okay. True, I want you to do this. Go and That's search right. for Hanif. Hanif is a kafir. How you call him Hanif? Hanif doesn't. Are you sure it means kafir? Yeah, it's mean kafir. <laughs> Hanif is mean kafir. So how you call him Hanif? And by the way, you said you don't call him Muslim. It, you call him Muslim. Chapter three, verse number sixty-seven. It says, "Wakana Hanif and Musliman." Wait, I'm looking up the meaning for Hanif. Hmm. Well, in that sense, he would be a non-believer because he wasn't. Uh, he didn't get the final message of God. That oh, he did not. Oh, okay. Is it true that your 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 Ibrahim he worshipped the suns and the moon and the stars? Uh, no way, no. No okay. way, again, no way. You are going to say how, to me? How can, he, how can he? How can he worship the stars and moon if he was the father of? Uh, That's a good Jesus, question. Of Ishmael and uh, yeah, Isaac. yeah, yeah, right, right. He could uh, ask your prophet. I don't know. Here we go. This is the Quran, chapter six, verse number seventy-six. It says. So when the night over shadow him, he saw a star and said, He is my Lord. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You just said to me, No way, Abraham, he worships stars. So when it said, he said, I do not love the setting ones. Hmm. Is that logical for you, or this is funny? It's stupid. How can thing. you say? How can you, you? How can you say? How can you interpret this as saying he worshipped stars? That doesn't make sense. Come on. It says this is my lord. He said he asked, "Is this my lord?" He said, "This is my lord." He saw a planet, and he said, "This is my lord." No, he said, "Is the?" It's a question. How can you make a? It's not a statement. He did not say this. This question. He said. No, you okay, see. What is the, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you because the donkey who translate that to you, he make it this way. قال هذا ربي. He did not say. Hold on. You see the. What you're showing me. The, the, one, the one, the one who did lie to you here is a translator. There's no question mark. He said, "This is my lord." Not is this my lord? This is a liar. Oh, so why? You, okay, so why is it every video you use this website if it's complete? I yet? have to because this is just I will show you the Quran and translation. I don't have a translation to show you what so I would do. Things don't go your way. Okay, like, oh, no, oh, no, I don't right. go my way. You idiot donkey. Do you want me to show you the interpretation? Go on. I don't know Arabic. So do you want, and don't don't tell me it's not about uh, not Arabic no more. We can show you the interpretation made by the Muslims. And here we go. L let me know why here it changed. Why here it doesn't say is this is my lord? Why here it's became. This is my Lord. We just a change the translator. Who is the liar here? You, you Muslims are a bunch of liars. You have no dignity. How you make the Quran from saying this is my Lord to make it is this my Lord? Okay, are you sure in the uh, Quran it says it, this is my Lord? Yes, it's in the front of me. He says, He said, This is my Lord. It's in the front of me in Arabic. Okay. Yeah. What What did the star say? What star? This no, is I mean, your. This is this I, is your I, Abraham, I, the one in the Quran. He worshipped the star. Now look here. Does it say when the star he came down? He said, "I don't like the one who goes. I don't. I'm not going to worship those who goes, disappear." I mean, how uh, stupid this story is. That's mean Abraham. All his life, he never saw a star, and he never thought that the star would disappear. Look like the star was always in the sky in his time. What kind of excuse and what kind of logic to say that he worshipped the star in the beginning, but then he noticed that the star, he go away and he said, I don't like the one who goes away. This is stupid. What is the logic here? Are you saying to me, Abraham, he never noticed that a star, he don't stay there? No, no, but... What? No, no. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I don't, I don't know what to say. You're right. Okay, we continue. Because the story of the madness continue here. We go to the verse after it. And then, look what it says here. When Azar saw the moon, where is Azar? Azar? Who is Azar? Look, I gave, I gave you an answer, okay? No, 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 no. You see, just to show you the corruption of the Muslims. Who is the one there is talking? This is Azar or, or Abraham? Uh, in this, in this, in seventy-seven. Yes. Who is the one is talking here? 
uh, I'm, I don't know. According to translation, it is Azar. Okay, so. But this is not Azar. This is Ibrahim. So what? we, we you just so, told me so we have so we have to change the translation again from a donkey to a donkey to a donkey because you Muslims don't have a translation you have monkey translation we change the translator Bikta let us see what Bikta will say oops there's no Azar Azar is gone what is Azar. Yeah, you're right. It does say this is money. It is a statement, yes. Mm. But why they are adding Azar in the previous translation? Why you Muslim lie in translation? Okay, go to the Azar. Go to 78. I can't see it. There's no Azar no more. It's gone. We, we change the translator. Suddenly, there's no Azar no more. The one is talking here is Abraham. You can go and check the interpretation. There's no Azar here. This is stupid. This is a lie. But the Muslims, they are trying to cover up that in their book Abraham he worship three gods before he knows Allah the moon the star the Sun mm. and each time he see one of them he says this is my Lord and then when he disappear he say I don't like I don't like to follow those who go astray which is very stupid logic because as if Abraham he never saw that the stars go astray or the moon does not go astray like what Abraham he never saw the day the daytime in his life or was it was nighttime and the moon is always there it says and when he saw the moon uprising he ex explained and he said oh this is my Lord so he took Shahada now he converted to the moon religion then the moon disappear so he said I don't like to worship the ones who disappear then the try the drama continue and then he saw the Sun and then he said this is my God do you see here it says the word the greater okay so then okay do you see him Fine, you're, yeah you're do you right, see him worshiping right. the Sun saying this is a greater do you see the word the greater uh, creator greater 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 yeah, yeah. yes yeah do you know what yeah. the word in Arabic for the greater here no it doesn't say greater actually it says this is my God this is my God this is Akbar has Akbar you know how you know how Akbar look like right no what do you mean you don't, you don't know how Akbar literally in Arabic you don't know you never saw it before you say Allah Akbar every day you do not know how Akbar look like it's in front of you so he said this is Akbar Akbar Akbar, yeah. Akbar was the name of the Sun there's two God there's Allah and Akbar no, I thought you asked Shut me up. how he looked What's like in image. Allah is the moon confused. God. Allah is the moon God. Uh, the sun is Akbar. Is the moon is the sun God? The moon God have sex with the sun God, and they have babies, three daughters, Manat and Allah al Uzza. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. So here, confirmed to us that Akbar is the sun God, and he was worshiping the moon God. And Muhammad is a person who believe in Tawheed, which means unification of two gods. The two big God, Allah and Akbar. This is why the Muslim they say Allah Akbar. If you ask a Muslim, what do you say? Say to us Allah Akbar. They say Allahu Akbar. Who in Arabic mean and mm. and yes. So how Allahu Akbar? If Allah is if the word Akbar mean a great, how you say Allah and Akbar? Allah and great. No, it could be great Allah. No, know. you are saying Allah Ak Akbar. Wu is it mean and Allah and Akbar. So how he is a great and you are putting between them and Allah and great. Akbar does not mean great. Akbar mean bigger. Okay, and this okay. is why this is why he is saying here this is bigger. This is Akbar. He he said this because he was Hanif. He was he didn't he wasn't uh, he didn't know. My friend, doesn't matter. What do you mean he did not know? And then suddenly your your funny uh, Abraham suddenly he became a believer. Look at this. Then he says, "Why? Because the sun set. I mean, look like this Abraham. He never saw the sun set before. The Muslim they try to fabricate the meaning here. They say, oh, he was uh, being hypocrite to his people 
So he converted to their religion in order to show them that this doesn't make sense. What is which mean Muhammad, which mean Abraham is doing taqiyya. Which mean Abraham was a scam. And here you will notice, then suddenly Abraham he became Hanif. He became Hanif after he worshipped three gods. So he said, Lu, I have turned my face toward him who created the heaven and the earth. Suddenly he knows the one who created the heaven and the earth. And how in the world? Yeah, okay, well, let me hold, on, hold, on, hold on, what, what hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why Abraham he stopped worshiping the sun and the star and the moon? What is the reason? So what do you want what do you want me to do? Keep worshiping sun and moon. What My friend, listen to the question. Focus with me. You are slow like the rest of the Muslims. Your your oh, Quran yeah. saying, your Quran saying that Abraham he stopped worshiping the sun and the moon and the star because they said, is that correct? I love not things that they said, correct? I love not those who go astray, correct? See, yes, yes. Okay. And here about the sun. And when it's set, he don't like it because it's set. So as long he don't worship things, they disappear. How he worship Allah who never appear? If I will not worship something, disappear. Just because it disappear. How in the world I will worship something never appear and never disappear? Mm. The logic is a stupid. Yes, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It's strange. Yeah. No, no, don't say it's so strange. You said yes. I said it's stupid. You said yes. You agree with me. So you just admitted that the Quran is a stupid book. Thank you very much. You are getting smarter. If I reject to believe the sun because the sun disappear. Then how I believe in the God who never appear anyway? If this is the reason for me not to believe, then how this is, can be the same reason to believe? Okay, but does it say that God then never appeared? Before never Abraham? appeared to, Mu the, the, to Abraham, and actually, according to Islam, uh, Allah, nobody saw him. Nobody saw him. So how you say I like not? I don't believe in those who said, and then you say to me, I'm believing the one who never said, who never came, he never show himself. That's stupid. Mm, yeah, it sounds like invented. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. So, are you even Islam, my friend? Yeah, uh... yeah, things don't make sense, but I you saw, you say, I, I am out of Islam. Be smart, man. Just say it. Come on, be a man. You are smart, you are not stupid. Don't you see. In my mind, that you have there is two parts of you. One is a stupid, and one is a smart, and they are fighting together. Which one will win? Let us see. It's not. It's not that simple. It's not. What do you mean that simple? It's, it's a stupid. How he refused to believe in the sun because it's set, but the God he want to believe in him now. He never upset. He never. He never show himself. If the reason for me not to believe in this God because he disappear, well, Allah he never appear anyway. Okay, yeah, okay, fine. This is BS. Okay, it looks like BS, uh, like most of the time, yes. But like, if this is not, uh, if Islam is not the, the one religion, well, what, what would be? Because So I, I take from you a signature saying that the Quran speak BS, BS mean bullshit, correct? Yeah, I can't defend it anymore. <laughs> it's BS. Yeah, okay, here we go. So you are out of Islam. Is that correct? Yes. All right, that's wonderful. Guys, Take a note, Mr. Ras is out of Islam. Now, you are saying to me, and uh, now what is next, right? I might, uh, yeah, because. What is the reason to believe in God in Christianity? Let us see what is the reason. The first reason you will see in Christianity that God, He created us, not the same as in Islam. In Islam, He created us so we will worship Him, correct? To be His slaves. Yes. Okay. And that is sick because if we are created just to worship a person who is God, that means this God is sick and he is self crazy. You know, he's just trying to have fun. So he created us and he will enjoy us seeing worshiping him. Bow down, bow down, bow down. 
in Christianity the story is different God he wanted to share his glory with his beloved creatures he loved us yes we worship him but it's based on love this is why you see the Christians when they pray to their God they don't say even to him God they say our father our father art of heaven for we are considered as a children's which means the relationship between the God the Creator and his creation is not about slave and slavery even though he came for us to be his slaves he came for us he can destroy us he can replace us he can do whatever he wish but yet because he's all just and all justice he love us and he want us to live in a good life and to be happy and this is why I say to you that we cannot compare between Islam and Christianity because Islam based on love for God himself is love and he want to share his love with you he don't want to share slavery he don't want you to be his slaves he want you to be free and live in a freedom in the same time he warned you he said I am the only choice somebody would say well you don't give me a choice and then you say to me this is love yes well there's no other choice it's like saying to you we have an island and the volcano is going to erupt and everybody who live in it is going to burn and then there's somebody he loves you and he said to you I can save you just come with me in the ship and you say I don't want so don't don't cry for the volcano burning you alive the volcano has come in and he told you and he care for you he want to save you you don't want to be saved this is your business so in Christianity my friend we don't believe in such a stupidity yes through our life we go and we worship maybe we might worship me and you we worship wrong gods Maybe we worship sex, maybe we worship money, maybe we worship power, but we don't give an excuse. And as you see here in the Quran, which is a very silly and stupid, this is cannot be true. Same time, Muhammad, the one who claimed that he follow Abraham, did he follow Abraham really? No, not really. No. no. It's different. It's different. It's different. And Muhammad, he himself, he was kissing stones, and he claimed that the stones they forgive sin. And this is nothing but paganism. And even Muhammad, he make it lawful to go and to do a Safa and al-Marwa. And a Safa and al-Marwa was pre-Arab pagan rituals was done before Islam. And Muhammad, he just accepted and he put it as part of his religion to make people believe in it. So for us, when we speak about one God and the Muslim, they start speaking about the Trinity and to try to make it as a story to make it, to make people believe that there is something wrong in Christianity, how God can be in, in Trinity. Well, how how you say to God, how can he be? God, he can be whatever he wants. What do you think, Rast? Can God can be as he wish? Or he cannot? Yes, yes. Okay. So the good God, can he present himself or he can came to us or he can be in in, in more no, than no, one okay. person? I, I understand the, the Trinity, but can do you, you saying God can make himself uh, vulnerable he can make himself weak like a man God never been weak because simply even when they killed Jesus that was not weakness according to Christianity Jesus he said nobody take myself from me but I lay my down my, myself down nobody can take it so he willingly he was humbling himself and he let that happen but that was not a weakness that was a strength because imagine Jesus he was speaking to us about love and loving the enemies all his life and then in the cross he start cursing them look what Jesus did in the cross Jesus he said father forgive them they do not know what they are doing so Jesus even in the cross he present to us that he is very truthful and he say what he do and he do what he say imagine I speak to you about being loving forgiving all my life and then when somebody hurt me I start cursing him says I will kill you I will destroy you look what Jesus did so everything about jesus and the cross of jesus is not about jesus being weak it's the opposite here we go jesus you think he is weak but he overcome death he's alive and death cannot take him down so what is the weakness you kill me i come back to life you shoot me i come back to life you put your arrow in my body i come back healthy and nothing wrong with me what is the weakness there's no weakness it is a proof that god is true and he is god Otherwise, how can such a thing happen? I never heard of somebody we crucify him and he die and then he come back. That's it. You go to death, you die. You don't come back. So he overcome death 
and this is a proof how strong he is not how weak he is so for those who want to see or looking for weakness they might th see weakness because they are ignorant for me I see an amazing strength an amazing uh, 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 power even the Bible yes. says when when Jesus was resurrected a lot of saints resurrected by with him which mean by his power so not only he resurrected himself even many of the dead who they are righteous people they resurrected with him so my friend what people they see as weakness we see it as a strength and it is amazing strength strength of love strength of ability to overcome death same time of forgiveness and this is what god is for us in islam god is about cursing hateful he want to punish people around. He want to. He want to make the Muslims kill others. I, you're, the God of Islam, He cannot kill us. The Quran says, "Qatiluhum yaadibuhum Allahu baidikum." Fight, fight them, kill them. Allah, He punished them by your hands. What about you? Punish us by your hands if you are God. Yeah, but there's also there's also uh, violence in the Bible, isn't there? My friend, okay, there is no violence, but there's but always there. Is, you see, Christianity is not against violence. If violence is justified, which means it's going to be stupid of you. To say you cannot be violent when somebody else want to kill you. If you yourself now you became a Christian and somebody came to your house and want to rape your wife, what do you do? You give him a towel. You say, "Go ahead, rape my wife. I'm a Christian," or you defend your wife and your husband and your in your household. Mm. Yeah. So, in order to understand the violence in the Bible, we have to go back on time and see how people live in that time, and then we will see. But you will notice in Islam, the violence have no reason except money. Like, did you ask yourself in chapter nine, verse number nine, twenty-nine, how Muhammad he speak that he is he is coming to 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 spread the religion of God, and then he accept and he have no problem that the Christians will stay as a Christians worshiping wrong God, according to Islam we are pagan, right? We are false. We will go to hell, right? Yes. Okay. How if we pay him money, then he have no problem with it? Isn't it clear that this is he's a corrupt man? Yeah, it's corrupt. Yeah, because here we go. I pay your money. You don't have a problem with me. You will let me live. So, what the purpose of this religion? To make money from the weak, who you conquer them, and you don't care anymore if they became a Christians, if they stay Christians, or they became Muslim. Actually, in history of Islam, there's many, many, many villages they sent to the Caliphate because they cannot afford it no more. They sent to him. We want to be Muslims. The Caliphate he refused because he said, well, if if we make them become uh, Muslims who is going to pay for our food who is going to feed us yeah, yeah. we don't want them to be Christian to be Muslims stay as a Christians so here we go you will see that Muhammad he don't care for God no more suddenly it's okay to be a Christian as long as you pay him pay him you stay alive and he, not only that, and not only that he he will not allow any Muslim to kill you if you pay him this is what gang is about yeah yeah it's corrupt. yeah Mm. So, do you want to accept Christ myself as your savior? Uh, I think I need to make uh, more re more research. You know what we know. What I mean, mm. and then I'll make a decision. But can you can you explain one thing about the? Um, I want to ask you why is why are the gospels? Because sometimes the the same story is has different uh, is, is different in different uh, Bibles and no it's not it's not different my friend you see first of all we have we have four writers writing the same story should it be the same letter by letter no right otherwise it's going to be stupid to write the same story again for time correct right okay so yeah. everyone he present his own way of writing if I say to you if if, if me and you we go let us say to France and then we come back home and you I say and we were together all day long from the morning until night and then they ask Ras to write what what happened and Christian Prince to write what happened do you think we will write exactly word by word no each one of us he will write what he think is best to tell in the story in the Bible it's about by inspiration so they cover each other let us say blind spot if somebody did not mention this the other person is mentioning it in, in making it more clear so the four stories give four dimension of the house. So we have a house in the middle, and that is the house of God. And then we have four describing the house from four corners. If one of them describe one corner, 
that will not be enough to know the house because it's still maybe something missing because he spoke of it his own of, of his own way we are people God he created us a, a different so God he spoke to us in different way you know Muhammad himself in the Quran he said uh, uh, in the hadith that Allah he sent him the Quran in seven letters just to cover his shame because he cannot repeat the same story uh, 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 again in the same way but here we have four writers every one of them he present the story to us based in his knowledge and his honesty yet it is the same story there's no contradiction between them it is just more or less details from the others which means if the other person here he, he says some details i do not need to repeat the same exact details but i give details he did not mention so four stories they make a story one story mm. and all of them they speak about one thing you will not find any of the four gospels saying that jesus wasn't crucified all the four confirm that all the, the, the four confirm how he was suffering in the cross all the four confirm all the details but there's details appear here more than here for a very simple reason because this is the point of writing the four books otherwise then we have one book one writer and he write everything and that's it yes yes all right like now i made for you i made i made four books about islam correct right i yeah. am not done even though i am one person not for people if you ask me to write the book six and Allah uh, again trust me I will not be able to write it the same way I wrote it first time because when I wrote first time my my thought was coming in different way organized in different way my ideas right you're like you you're inspired with idea to come to your head and you start writing okay I will write this idea first but if I write different book it's going to be a different book but it's not going to change the fact I'm going to speak about so when I say in the in Islam it says you will have versions and you will have your penis and etc. It's going to be the same, but instead of written in page number twenty in the first book, maybe in my coming book I'm going to write it in page number one hundred. But the story is there, and the reference is the same. Yes. For me, I have a duty to invite you, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your Lord as Savior. What do you say? Uh, um, I thought it's a decision, you know, like I need some, I need to think, I need some time to think, you know. All right. Well, I'm not going, you see, in Christianity, we don't believe in something called Shahada. We believe that you are, you have to be a believer. So I invite you to be a believer. I don't invite you to say Shahada. We are not hypocrite and we don't believe in hypocrisy. So my friend, when you believe, let me know. I will help you. We will help you to find the church to go to and we will help you to receive your baptism and to become a member of the family of Christ and you will receive your salvation. Mm. Yes. Okay. All right, my friend. I, I will let you go now for now. Maybe we can receive some Muslim calls. Thank you very much for calling and I'm happy for you that you left Islam today. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank See you. you. Thank Bye. you, Russ. Thank you. God is good. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? As you see, they come here, they are stubborn, they fight us, they call us names sometime. Actually, the first time Ras, he came here, he started saying to me, liar, 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 and here we go. He left Islam. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone is counting how many Muslim left Islam this month in this channel in the last four weeks? Me, myself, I don't count because it's very hard to follow. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And by the way, when a person, he is a Muslim, he leaves Islam, he is the winner, not Christian prince. Because you won your freedom, my friend, from slavery, from a cult. You are the winner. Some people, they think that, okay, Christian prince, he won here. No, I did not win. Actually, I lost. I lost my time. I lost my voice. 
you know, I can go and now do something else, or at least I can watch a TV. My, my back really honestly hurt me. How many hours I did broadcast just in the last 24 hours? My eyes hurting me. My eyes are dry from looking at the computer. My voice is, is suffering. I go to sleep. My throat is really, really dry. But at the end of the day, we believe that winning one person to God is a great gift. Hello? Hello, CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? I am very fine. How are you? Alive. I know. <laughs> you know, um, I got I got to praise God for, just like you said, um, I, I can't remember how many how many Muslims uh, in, in, in just a few days left Islam. That, that's that's really, um, <laughs> I, I can tell. And uh, for everyone, I got to say, guys, I think that we need to be more patient with our brother Christian Prince. He's risking his life every day in order to show the Muslims how much they live in darkness. In, is, is anyone of you doing this uh, every day for hours? And... Uh, it, it, it's incredible. It's really incredible, and uh, I really got to praise and thank God for for your work because you doing His work, and it's it's wonderful. I thank you really, CP. Thank you very yeah. much, my friend. Thank you. We thank the uh, Lord for having all of you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. And one thing I um I heard yesterday uh, it was it was mentioned uh, our brother Pastor David Lynn, and uh, we need to pray for him and his ministry. He and his crew are risking the same way their life every, every time they speak on the streets, talking to everybody, to atheists, Jews, Jehovah's Witnesses, Muslims. He went, I think it was last year, to Speaker's Corner, all the way from Canada to preach the gospel at Speaker's Corner. The Muslims were going after him like wolves after rabbits, you know. And, and it's it's he's he's really uh, risking the same way his life, and uh, we need to pray for for his ministry. And another time, he was in Jerusalem and wanted to pray and worshiping in the holy side to our Lord Jesus Christ. But Muslims were sitting there taking money for that, and got very aggressive, really. Uh, and and he he was stubborn because he wanted to stay there. Uh, I I can post the link here in the chat. And for anyone who wants to see the video, it's interesting. Well, you know, we, we should support anyone who do the good work for the Lord. And uh, we do not need even to hesitate to do, uh, you know, because many, they like to sit and watch. But there's many, right. they are doing the, the, the real act and the real work. Yes. And uh, this is for the benefit of your kids. Your kids will learn and will watch, will learn from how to answer Muslims, and they will not be potatoes who have no idea what to say. You know, yeah. me, me yeah. myself, me my myself. When I I start studying Islam, I was upset from the Christian around me because nobody nobody dared to speak about it, especially in the Middle East. You go yeah. to the you go to the church, the priest don't want to talk about it. You speak to yeah. anyone, nobody. No, so who's going to answer those poor Christians? The Muslims attacking you all over. Your Bible is corrupt, etc. Et and the, the Muslims are programmed since the first year in their life to attack Christianity. Christians mm -hmm. are people, they go to church, they pray for everybody in peace and love and go home. But this is not what Christianity is about. Christianity is about knowledge too. You have to arm yourself with knowledge. So when somebody tries to deceive your children, you should fight back with the truth and save others. Not only fight back to defend yourself, but to defend them, themselves, the one who is deceived, who they think you are wrong. You should save them. You have a duty to bring them to Christ too. So mm -hmm. we have to work in two directions, saving ourselves and our family from lies, same time saving those who believe in lies from their lies. Amen. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I thank you very much. Take care. Bye, CP. Bye -bye. Take care. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim?
this is my challenge to the Muslims who they are listening I challenge any one of you to call me and show me one thing just one can prove Muhammad to be a prophet the most funny thing about this cult that they call him a prophet but he have no prophecy he have actually prophecies he have many all of them they are false and stupid so who is the Muslim wanna call us and show us how Muhammad became a prophet and why you call him a prophet what is the qualification in Islam to be a prophet is that to be stupid is that to be crazy is that to be bewitched is that to be a child molester is it to be a guy who even his followers they accuse him that he stole an underwear so what make Muhammad a prophet for you you see when the Muslim they say what make you believe Jesus is God here you need to stop and think a little bit that we and Muslims we debate about Jesus being God not about being prophet this is telling me that Jesus is too good to be a prophet because here we are not debating about him being a man as a prophet we are debating about him being God so shouldn't you ask yourself what make the Christians believe that Jesus is God they aren't even questioning anymore that he is a prophet or not they are questioning the Muslims are not questioning us about his prophet or not his they are questioning if he is God that's mean this person we are debating about is beyond normal human being to the point mankind are debating about him is he God or he is not do you see how amazing the Messiah is When we talk about Muhammad, we are debating if he is a child molester or not. Not about him being a prophet. We are debating if he is a thief or not. Not he being a prophet. We are debating about his ethic, his stupidity, his madness, his garbage. So we are not debating about Muhammad being a prophet. We are debating about a man who is a criminal. So look at the difference between how we debate about Muhammad and where they are debating about Jesus. For them, they are debating us if Jesus is God. That alone is a proof to me that Jesus is a very high being. We debate you Muslims if Muhammad was a thief, a criminal, a child molester, a womanizer, a cheater, all the garbage, you name it. So how we can put them in the same shelf together how we can say and the funny the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is the greatest prophet he is greater than Jesus what is the great about him who is the Muslim wanna call me and tell me what is great about Muhammad receiving satanic verses Cheating in his wives, bringing women to the beds of his wives, having sex with the children, seducing men to have sex with the children. Do you remember the story when a man he was going home and he was in Russia want to go home? Muhammad he said, a guy his name is Jabir. Jabir. Why you are in a rush? Why you want to go home fast? Huh? Why you want to go home fast? What's what 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 making you a rush to go? Jabber, he said, I am newly married. So obviously, this guy he missed his wife. So Muhammad he said to him, Huh? Did you marry? A woman previously married or a child? The guy he said, I married a woman previously married, which means she is not a virgin. And look at the devil, Muhammad saying to him, Why? Why? Why not a young girl? 
which means a young child, Jaria, so that you could play with her and she, she could play with you. Here you see the devil. A man is happily married. What kind of a man? He come to a man who is happily married and he tempt him to leave his wife, which he cannot wait to go home and see her, and tempt him to have a child and the purpose to play with her. This is what Muhammad like. He like to have sex with the children. So Muhammad here, he speak from his deep inside, his sexual fantasy about having sex with the children. And he was wondering what's wrong with this guy? Why he's marrying a woman previously married when he can have a little child in his bedroom and she play with him. This is a prophet of God. While Jesus was saying to you, don't divorce your wife unless she commit adultery. While Jesus saying to you, don't wish a woman she is not yours. While Jesus saying to you, those who harm the little one, it's better for them to put a milestone in their neck and throw themselves in the deep ocean. Muhammad was saying to you, go and harm them. Go chase them. Go bring them to your bedrooms and go rape them. And this is fun. This is sport. This is the best of the sport. The man, he said to him, well, I cannot do that. My brother, he passed away and he left a lot of little children for me. And I cannot marry a child to take care of the children. Do you see it? He explained to this perverted man saying, I am married a lady so she might take care of them. I cannot marry a little girl because that will make me having 10 little girls in my house. This is a prophet of God. If this is a prophet of God, who is the perverted God here? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? They can call me liar as much as they want, but can they? Can they call me and challenge me? Did you ask yourself why they call me liar in speaker corner, but they don't dare to call me? I made it clear for all of them. Here we go. My Skype is open. I don't know even who's going to call me next. All those who have a big mouth, why do they don't dare to get close to me? Call me and get me busted. Everything I say, I show it in the screen. Prove me wrong. Here we go. I'm here. Can they, those who claim to be brave and they knew they have knowledge, can they prove me wrong? If they can, what is holding them? Any Abdul? The funny, they say they want to challenge me, but they cannot find me for the last, I don't know how many years. I am here almost every day. Every day, not only uh, like five minutes and disappear, like for hours. Yet they cannot find me to debate me. 
the only excuse they have you know show us your face and I am sure if I show them my face they will get even more scared show us your face your God himself he never show his face actually I uh, uh, Muhammad hijab he said the Christian Prince he is in love with veil he is speaking from behind the veil <laughs> The funny his last name is hijab which means veil and I wonder why your people in your country they call you Muhammad hijab which means Muhammad the veil unless they think you are a female and not only that the funny that the Quran says that Allah never spoke except from behind the veil so if you are making fun of those who speak from behind the veil try to make them look like they are females they are cowards Yet your last name is a veil and your God Allah he said I never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil This is the Quran chapter 42 verse number 51 Are you making fun of your God? And as long veil is something wrong and shameful I advise you as a man to change your name because it's not nice that to be your name Muhammad Burka. That is really funny. I challenge you to tell me why your family have such a name Muhammad Burka. This is a name they give it to somebody to make fun of him to insult him. This is the same way you are doing it to me. You said the Christian prince he speak from behind the veil to insult me, right? So how can you explain to us why you get the, how you earned that name? Yes, Ras. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. I wanted to ask you about um, a verse in Leviticus, if you don't mind. Yeah, but maybe later we can talk about this. There's a guy who wanna call me, and I told him to call me. Oh, okay, okay. No yes. problem. Hello. Hello, Mr. Clean. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Yeah, I just um, watched um, listening to uh, Ras. Hmm. Uh, it's just a long time ago. He's debating me to just running like monkey like, from three to three, and I think you know he knew he would never win with you. And then it's typical Muslim, you see. And I was one of them before, so exactly how I knew how it feel. You know, you just try. Sometimes you just try to be patient with the Muslim. They're stubborn. They're just like a devil, I think. No, well, it's you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to put anyone down because you yourself You just said you were Muslim before and you were debating me right before you decide to leave Islam, but uh, You know every one of us sometimes go stubborn and it's not easy You are believing in something all your life and then suddenly you notice that you've been stupid Yeah, I can you know, really agree. If, if, yeah. You feel you feel like it's okay uh, This guy now is not saying Islam is stupid as if he's saying I am stupid because I am the one believing it You know what I mean? Mm. You know, so many things that you said about um, the Hadith and Quran, there's nothing, even so the scientific miracle, you know, um, about the babies stuff like that, and the eggs, stuff like that. it's all that, you know, they lie, you know, it's, why, why they just trying to, you know, make a, you know, story just added up, it's not right, you know. Yeah, well, if it, it's, but it's okay, you know, I mean, this is normal. Uh, mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I am if I am born of a Muslim family all my life and I hear Muhammad is an amazing man and blah mm -hmm. blah 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 I mean what you expect you expect me to just uh, say you're right right away no way no you know? no no I'm going to struggle no. I'm going to call your names I'm going to be upset I will reject mm -hmm. what you are saying to me I believe this is very normal and it's going to be yeah. an, it's, not, it's going to be not normal if we don't if you don't do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's like me. You know, when when I was a devout Muslim, um, you know, uh, I wasn't allowed to ask. You know, who's Allah is, because he said, you know, if you ask too much about Allah, you become a uh, kafir. You become not knowing who Allah is. So I, I I never wanted to know. I just worship in and recite the portion Quran and study Islamic. You know, in madrasa. And, and that's why I have been taught, you know, and then all the imam or, you know, the um, 
scholar said, you know, you just have to study there and recite in the portion Quran. And then, you know, it's, it's like, for instance, uh, Ramadan, you know, after you break the fast, you know, you go to the mosque and you, um, uh, you know, um, recite lots after the Tarawih, you know, you, you, you study a lot and then you recite the Quran until midnight and you go to sleep. It's hard to be a uh, um, devout Muslim. And then you wake up in the morning, you do the Fajr prayer before Imsak and you have to eat. And then, and it just, you know, and, but you, you know, never been told, you know, you just, you know, recite this portion, recite this portion. but you don't know because um, um, Quran is not my first language, so I just have to find a translation, translation to translation. It's not like black Bible, you know, you can get any other, you know, like from European or English or Greek, whatever, you can, you can, you know, translate, you can understand that. Yeah. Well, I remember yeah. you, are, you are the person who called us uh, yesterday, I think, right? Yesterday, you could also your yeah. testimony, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yes, last Friday. Yeah, last Friday, I was, yeah, Friday. I was, I was, I was really remember, hurt because you, know? you see, forgive me. I, you know, I'm a, like I have too many people calling me. Know, it's it's not easy to remember who is talking and who is and, not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call you last Friday. You know, ex um, yeah. explaining how um, difficult being um, brought up with two different parents, Christian from my mom's side and um, Islam from Sunni, yeah. my my dad's side, and um, as I said, you know, being right there you know it, it's t painful you know you've been torn but you were not up to now you know because my dad told me not allowed to eat pork so psychology you, you're thinking when you try to eat pork my mom's not allowed to you know feed the kid with the pork you know you know meat pork because it's a haram you know you can't do anything yeah. <laughs> so it's just you know, um, the doctrine you know where the ideology and one thing is I, I remember when I was young i my um my um my auntie dad uh she was a muslim uh, mission, missionary she come from the sunni devout muslim uh. she preached you know um other people you know all the women there and she used to send me to madrasa to um study islamic and one one day I was so tired because you know you study lots, you know, reciting portion of Quran and stuff like that. I went to mosque in the morning to fajr pray. Because you know, little kid, you know, you're tired, stuff like that. And I was young. And he behind up after I finished, after the Imam finished doing his fajr prayer, he looked at me, he smacked my face. And I thought, oh, this is punishment for being yawning. But I didn't know that, you know. Why, why, why? You know, they, they hurt me because I, I didn't help it, you know. But since then, I said, is it that religion? But it's questioning myself. Why my mom never wanted to convert to, to Islam and just wanted to, you know, it's it's hard for her. I, I do feel sorry for my mom because all her life, she, she you know, she's just tolerant, you know. She will do um, um, the food for for uh, fasting in the morning, in the evening, stuff like that. Just, but she never, you know, wanted, you know, to ask questions, question, lots of, to, to us, you know, because he, she wouldn't dare because my dad lived in the Islamic way, you see. Yeah. Well, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Let us see if we can get very some welcome. more Muslims. And we appreciate yeah. you. Bring, if you know some more Muslims, they'd like to learn to yeah, call. I'll, I'll, Bring them. Let I them will do that. Us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, brother. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Take care. You too. Yeah. You know, uh, everybody have his own reason to believe in something. And I believe at the end of the day, whatever your reason is, if your reason is not the kind can sustain and can stay for the coming years to come and your life to come your reason is false so let us say a person who believe in any religion not necessarily Islam or Christianity or anything I mean any anything if you don't find real reasons to believe in it then you are just uh, finding temporarily reason let us say you, you you have a need of belief maybe uh, this is why some some people sometimes like in this year they are buddhas next year they are hindus 
uh, the year after they are Muslims and then they became a Christian and then they leave Christianity they became atheist again and then etc because simply those people are confused and they are not looking really for they are looking for a change the purpose is not to believe in something the purpose is to have a change they are bored if you know this with me that you will see many Western when they go uh, as tourists suddenly those tourists they wear weird wear the clothes and I was thinking about why they wear those clothes I mean you will see a woman wearing very wide pant uh, it's like uh, from the slavery time when the Arab used to force women to wear those clothes the men they are wearing very weird uh, shorts or you know pants to uh, they have things in their hair suddenly they became somehow I mean you see if I see an African wearing the clothes of Africa I mean I'm not surprised he's an African but if I see a European trying to make himself an Asian or an African obviously there's something empty in his side this guy is just trying to find a change he is not satisfied with what he have inside him so what is the solution the solution is we change our form our look this is why we start adding tattoo we are empty from inside so we start putting tattoo in my neck and then in my chest and then my chest is full I go to my shoulder my shoulder is full I go and fill up my arm and then my arm is full and then I go to my my leg and then to the, the ass and then my the ass is full and then we go down to the foot and then we go to the toes and then even I uh, my body became like a map and then what I do I start having tattoo over my tongue and then I start putting needles and putting uh, uh, chains and all of this because he is running forward from something bothering himself about who he is he and all of this I believe is just because they have no spiritual life from inside they are being stupid they decide to be hippies so I put an I put a ring in my nose and then a ring in my belly bum and then a ring in the vagina or in the penis and then a ring in the tongue and then a ring in my eyebrows and a ring in my in, I mean what's wrong with you how many rings you want to put there to prove something to yourself what are you trying to do emptiness is one huge problem and Islam is an empty religion Islam have different way to fill the emptiness which the Western they have in their life when they are hippies they keep you busy with five time prayer so you don't have time to think about how empty you are so you wake up in the morning you spend 20 minutes just to do ablution and then after that you have to clean your nose <laughs> and you have to say certain words and then you have to bow down up and down up and down and by the time you finish the prayer the second prayer came and then when you go to the bathroom Muhammad he said you have to say certain words otherwise shaitan he will play with your anus so he want to keep you under terrifying belief that if you don't even say a prayer before you go to the bathroom shaitan will go inside your anus so now there is a conspiracy against your anus so now you are not empty you are full you are full of conspiracy you are afraid shaitan he hate me because i'm a muslim shaitan don't do your non yawning even yawning muhammad told him if you do yawning shaitan he piss in your your mouth shaitan he sleep in your nose shaitan he pee in your ears if you sleep in your belly shaitan will do bang bang to you from your anus so now this person he have no time to think the same as those hippie western who they want to put tattoo because he have tons of tattoo already but it's inside him he's worried about his anus he's worried about his penis he is worried if you want to if you want to have sex with your wife and you don't say certain prayer shaitan he round himself around your penis so you are a person who his life is full of phobia and because you have a phobia from everything then you are not thinking about the tattoo no more because you have different kind of tattoo which is more harmful you think you have no chains in your hands but the fact all and everything around you is a chains what you can eat what you cannot eat what you can say what you cannot say how to pray how to say the exact words and even the prayer is the most silly stupid prayer ever imagine you call somebody five times a day and you say to him what he said to you not what you are saying because when the Muslim they recite Al-Fatiha simply they are not reciting anything they are reciting what Allah he said 
imagine I teach you something Christian friends he just taught you something and then you call him all of you five times a day and you say and he hung up before even he leave his name and then he call you after that after two hours and he hung up then after two hours more, he called you again. I mean, this is the most stupid lifestyle ever. He is not even praying. He is repeating what somebody said, which is God. I mean, isn't it silly? And you have to do it in certain time. And you have to do it five times a day. And here we notice why Islamic countries are low in production, because they cannot work. Ramadan is official 30 days of sleeping. They say to you, we do fast, but the fact they don't fast in Ramadan, they gain weight and they spend more money on food for they buy more food. How it is the month of fasting, but you eat more. Or what they do, they exchange the day by the night. So they start eating all night like elephants and then they sleep all day like elephants. It's a stupid cult. Make you believe in something that it is right to do when it is wrong to do. Because fasting, this is not fasting. This is about you became in love more in food. In the month of Ramadan, Muslims, they cook the most expensive food. And they spend a lot more money. They invite families and relatives. And supposedly, this is supposedly charity. But it's not charity because you are going bankrupt. They can't even afford it. So after month of Ramadan, you will see every Muslim household, unless they are rich, they are bankrupt. The price of food in Ramadan goes skyrocketing. If everybody very fasting, then the, the food price should go down. Imagine nobody drive. The price of gas will go down, will go zero. If nobody want to spend gas, nobody will buy gas. So Muslims, they've been taught falsely that they have God, but the fact what they have is a phobia God. This God, if you don't pray to him in a certain time, he will punish you. He will spank you. He's waiting. Ah, you did not pray to me five times today. You pray only four. Let me spank you, you guilty whatever. Ah, oh, you did not say inshallah and you don't say oh Allah protect me and protect my children after me before you have intercourse I will punish you I will have you I will make your son have a cross eyes Ha ah, you did yawning and then yeah I, I, have you ever heard of God he hate yawning and he loves sneezing How in the world can come with such a God? He loved those who sneeze and he hate those who yawn. Why? Because when you do yawn, shaitan he love. Ha 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 unbelievable. <laughs> do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? The messenger of Allah said, the sneeze is from Allah. What the heck? And the yawning is from shaitan. If, 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 if. Here we go. Even yawning became satanic. But by the way, yawning is something normal to happen. It's your body speaking to you that he's tired, he's asleep, etc. This is not bad. You know, like your engine, your engine, your elect if you have an electronic engine, there's lights for the oil, light for the uh, for the gas, light for the uh, uh, battery. Here you have light. Your body speaking to you that you need to rest, you need to sleep. So Muhammad, even this, he brought the phobia of his own 
to stop you from thinking to freeze your brain so now you sneeze Allah is happy actually once this is many years ago I opened a chat room in pal talk it's called let us sneeze for the sake of Allah make Allah happy and the Muslim they come to the chat room I say hey come by guys come let us sneeze so Allah get happy hat you ha, 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 have you ever heard of a God he, he get happy for you sneeze well you sneeze obviously you have a cold man and then if you do yawning that is from shaitan indeed Allah loves the sneeze and he dislike the yawn so when a man say ah ah when yawning indeed shaitan love from inside his opening shaitan in case you do not know what he's saying now shaitan will jump inside your mouth and he will start laughing inside your mouth ha, 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 ha. this is a prophet of god this is the guy who teach you wisdom Or this is an official stupid madman who says stupid things. So if you get cold, my friend, Allah is so happy now. Let us have cold. Let us pray that the flu will spread all over. So Allah will be happy. Now, guys, do you want us to make Allah unhappy? <laughs> and Allah saying, no, please, please don't do that. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Allah saying, Oh, buddy, please stop. Somebody stop this guy. Somebody speak to him. He is yawning. He is yawning. Not again. Not again. Not again. Please, please. How in the world this is can be from God? And how you Muslim, you made this idiot a prophet of God? What's wrong with you? You have to be mentally ill to believe in such a garbage. This is why Christian Prince, he says, you have to be certified donkey, actually, to believe in this. Actually, I'm thinking to open a yawning club. And if you are a Muslim, in return, you open a sneezing club. And we open the two club in two sides of the road. So Christians, they open a yawning club, and you Muslims, you open a sneezing club. And let us see who is going to be victorious. Or let us see, we have two army, the army of the kuffar and the army of the Muslims. The Muslim, they sneeze to make God happy, and the kuffar, they, they yawn to make Allah unhappy. I heard that they are saying now, the American, they discover a new weapon, it's called yawn weapon and by doing yawning isis will lose for their god will be upset and he will not be able to function he will go out of control he is angry this is god or this is an idiot All right. <clears throat> anyway, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you for those who they were here. Um, I hope more Muslims will leave Islam, and we are happy that uh, the gentleman, his name is Rasi, decided to leave Islam. And if you have a questions about the Bible, you can go to the channel of Sam Shamoon. This guy, he loves to speak about the Bible, and from now until tomorrow, and he will be happy to answer you. Let us focus here in, in Islam and the stupidity of Muhammad. Uh, I will try tomorrow to be live on air. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends about what we do. And uh, if you like to support us, I don't mind some sneezing and some yawning in the same time. Both they don't. Actually, I prefer yawning more than a sneezing because if you sneeze, you will make us full of uh, zakarnaic uh, water. So, 
Sneezing, yawning, Muhammad, the crazy man, trying to teach us wisdom. And he is trying to recognize God for us. But there's no way that this is, can be from God. This is an idiot who do not know what he is talking about. When you follow a donkey, don't blame yourself if we call you mule. Because you must be a mule to follow a donkey. Garbage in, garbage out. Except only if we have a recycle machine. So here we try to be the recycle machine. We bring garbage in, we try to make something good out of it to make you get out of the garbage. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you very soon. Bye-bye.